Good morning, my friends. I'm now having my coffee and trying to get going with my day. I have a busy day and I am behind on vlogging and getting everybody caught up on what's been going on. So at this time frame, I am at a RV park campground in Twin Falls City. So this is actually in the city. I thought maybe it would be on the outskirts of the city because of the name of it. Um, so it has, you know, campground in the name. Uh, so I ended up, you know, picking this one because it had a laundry and everything like that. But it really is an RV park, not technically a campground with electrical hookups and laundry. So I thought this would be perfect because there's so much going on right now. So what is going on is I knew that there was this snowstorm or not really like snow snow, but a mixture of snow and rain coming through this area and getting over the pass where I need to go to get into Utah, Salt Lake City area. So I saw that ahead of time and I thought there's no way I want to deal with that. And I was feeling kind of tired and exhausted and I really needed some reboot time. And I really was desperate to get some laundry done. So I thought win-win situation, I'm just going to land here. He said he had room and I could stay here for several days and get caught up on some things that I need to get caught up on. So that worked wonderful for me. I did hear that a girl came up and over that pass yesterday and said it was crazy at 10 a.m. She was battling a lot of the snow uh, mixed with the rain in the roads and she said it was really nerve-wracking for her because she's fairly new driving an RV. So after hearing her story, I know I made the right decision to do what I'm doing and just reboot, get plugged in. And so what I've been doing is I've been working on my laundry. So yesterday I was crazy busy getting about uh, three loads of wash done. And then today I'm going to work on my bedding. Okay, so that all needs to get freshened up. So I'm so excited about that. But what I'm doing, because I'm going to be going into cold areas, like I'm still bundled up from this morning. We're now just warming up. It's 53 outside, but it was way into the uh, lower 40s when I woke up. But I actually had the heater going, so that made it really comfortable inside. So it was about like 63 in here when I woke up, because I don't sleep well when it's super hot. So I had a pretty good temperature setting that made it comfortable for us and I haven't had a chance to um, get something different back in there that's going to help insulate my back um, so that is still on my list but I was not able to get that done before I had to start working on getting you know on the road so I'll be working on that. But what I'm needing to do is I've got all my wash done. And so I'm pulling out, obviously, a lot of my um, warmer clothes. So I'll have them available and just start to leave out a little bit of quarter sleeves. But then all of my tank stuff, I won't be needing those for a while. So stuff like this, I'm going to roll up. And I have a... A bunch of them actually I have several of these pillow covers okay this one is actually opened okay so I have several of these that store my clothes so I have shorts and summer clothes winter clothes and I need to swap them out so I'll be doing that just to have a little bit more of winter clothes available because where I'm going is going to be colder uh, Kent really wants to experience the fall, and so do I. I mean, I think it will be fun to see fall colors and stuff like that in Utah. As long as we don't get, you know, 
stuck in snow. <laughs> um, a little dusting will be fine and as long as we get out of there before anything heavy happens. But he's really good about being on top of the weather. But I'm just being wimpy about the cold and I have to get over that. I think it's just from my experience of being in the Northwest last winter. Just emotionally just kind of did a number on me even though I was plugged in and I had heat but it was that wet cold that was just so awful to my bones so that is something I'm working through and already just walking in this cold um, isn't as bad really I'm bundled up I have thermals on and it's really refreshing and it's really nice so I have to change that brain uh, that is stuck on that northwest wet cold. It really is. And this is a different cold, so it should be fine. So that is my agenda today is to, you know, work on my clothes, get all of this all set up, and uh, that'll help things keep me warmer. And then I will be heading out of here tomorrow, and I should be in salt lake city utah area i'm going to get plugged in one more time at a campground uh, it's only going to be about a two hour drive so it won't be bad and get you know plugged in want that one more time and then from then on uh, i won't be so i need to get everything done and, and situated by that time so that is my my goal the pass will be easier to get over it'll be cold but sunny uh, so that's doable and everything's working out great i'll get my water today do my rv dump and move on um, but i'm going to show you this park so let me show you it There's Milo. <laughs> yeah, he's, I gotta take all this off today. You gotta chew your chew. Chew your chew. Yeah, I gotta do laundry. Gotta get this bedding done. I don't know if you can see him there. Is that the light better? <laughs> yeah, it's a little darker in here. But there's a little dog content. Yes. He says, I like saying hi to everybody. Yeah, so I'm going to get all of this stripped, up, get my sheets, get my, even my comforter. They have uh, really nice oversized washers, so that's going to be really nice to get all of this done and refreshing. So I'm going to get going on that, yeah, while I put my clothes away and get them organized. Yeah, got to stay busy today. Yeah. And get out and get his little pajama things out. He's got these. Oh yeah, and I'll wash that with the bedding. So he's got these little pajama things, and they go down over his butt and everything. Um, it's really cute. They're little Mickey Mouse. <laughs> so I've got to pull those out. So I'll do that before I get going on this wash. All right, so I just wanted to get caught up with what's going on at this time frame. And I barely got this done pretty late last night. So I was so tired. I just laid everything over here and said, I will deal with all of this the next day. So today is that day. All right, so I'm going to get busy on this. And then we'll head out on my journey. And we'll get to the next stop. We'll be getting into Utah. <laughs> Coming up soon. All right. I'll see you then.